welcome to the mathematics in my channel today we are going to solve another interesting question okay first uh, we should evaluate Mellin transform of sine of x so we know the definition of Mellin transform so we can write Mellin transform of f of x Mellin transform of given function we can write integral from 0 to infinity x to the s minus 1 times f of x dx okay now we should evaluate many transform of uh, sine of x so we can write now this is equal to 0 to infinity now we know f of x is equal to sine of x so i rewrite sine of x first and then we know x to the s minus 1 so i am going to take x to the s minus 1 we know x to the s minus 1 is equal to 1 over x to the 1 minus s so i am going to take here 1 over x to the 1 minus s dx okay then uh, we have product of two function and now how to evaluate uh, this integral okay now we have another important fact of Laplace transform we know mass identity okay what is the mass identity okay we can take 0 to infinity f of x g of x dx we can take this is equal to 0 to infinity Laplace transform of f of x then inverse Laplace transform of g of x here d t okay then we can take um, f of x is equal to sine of x and g of x is equal to 1 over x to the 1 minus x so i'm going to take f of x is equal to sine of x and g of x is equal to 1 over x to the 1 minus s okay then uh, we should find the Laplace transform of fx so Laplace transform of sine of x so Laplace transform of sine of x we know this is equal to 1 over 1 plus t square and then we should find inverse Laplace of gx so inverse Laplace of now gx is equal to 1 over x to the 1 minus s and uh, for evaluate this inverse Laplace uh, first we can divide it by 1 over gamma of 1 minus s and then we can write inverse Laplace of so we should multiply by gamma of 1 minus s here uh, x to the 1 minus s t okay then we know this is equal to t to the minus s so t to the minus s over gamma of 1 minus s okay now we found uh, laplace transform of fx and inverse laplace transform of gx okay then we should find the Mellin transform of sine of x so I'm going to write here so Mellin transform of sine of x now we know this is equal to 0 to infinity sine of x 1 over x to the 1 minus s dx and we can write this is equal to 0 to infinity now according to mass identity we can write 
लाप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ साइन ऑफ एक्स देन इन्वर्स लाप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ इन्वर्स लाप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ वन ओवर एक्स टू दी वन माइनस एस या टी टी ओके देन वी नो लाप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ साइन ऑफ एक्स एंड इन्वर्स लाप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ वन ओवर एक्स टू दी वन माइनस एस सो वी कैन राइट नाउ दिस इज इक्वल टू जीरो टू इनफिनिटी लाप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ साइन ऑफ एक्स वी नो वन ओवर वन प्लस टी स्क्वा एंड देन हियर वी नो दिस इज इक्वल टू टी टू दी माइनस एस ओवर गैमा ऑफ वन माइनस एस डी टी नाउ वी कैन राइट गैमा ऑफ वन माइनस एस इज अ कांस्टेंट सो वी कैन राइट आउटसाइड ऑफ द इंटीग्रल साइन गैमा ऑफ वन माइनस एस सीरो टू इनफिनिटी टी टू दी माइनस एस ओवर वन प्लस टी स्क्वा डी टी ओके नाउ फॉर एवेल्यूएट दिस इंटीग्रल वी कैन यूज़ अस सब्सटिट्यूशन सो इफ यू टेक u is equal to t square then we know du is equal to 2 times t dt limit also we know 0 to infinity so we can write this is equal to 1 over gamma of 1 minus s integral from 0 to infinity here t to the minus s we know t is equal to uh, u to the 1 half so u to the minus s over 2 over 1 plus t square so 1 plus u and dt dt is equal to du over 2 times t I'm going to isolate the dt so dt is equal to du over 2 times now t t is equal to u to the 1 half so we can write here 1 over 2 here du u to the 1 half we can write here in this place minus 1 over 2 well then I'm going to rewrite this integral like here now 2 times gamma of 1 minus s now integral from 0 to infinity I'm going to rewrite this is like uh, u to the one half minus s over two minus one over here one plus u to the now one half minus s over two uh, plus one half plus s over two here d u then we know uh, the beta function integral so we can take beta of xy beta of xy is equal to 0 to infinity t to the x minus 1 over uh, 1 plus t to the x plus y dt now we know this is familiar with uh, yeah this is same as this integral so we can write now this is equal to 1 over 2 times gamma of 1 minus s times this is now equal to here if we take this is equal to x and this is equal to y we know here also x minus 1 so we can write this is equal to uh, beta of uh, 1 half minus s over 2 comma 1 half plus s over 2 okay then we know uh, we can write beta function uh, by using gamma function so we know this property um, I write here beta of xy is equal to gamma of x 
gamma of y over gamma of x plus y so according to this formula we can write this is equal to 1 over 2 gamma of 1 minus s and here we can write gamma of 1 half minus s over 2 gamma of 1 half plus s over 2 and here uh, gamma of x plus y so gamma of here we know s over 2 get cancelled 1 half 1 half 1 so gamma of 1 we know this is equal to 1 okay then uh, next step we can write now this is equal to 1 over 2 uh, gamma of 1 minus s and then here I am going to rewrite this function first so gamma of 1 half plus s over 2 then I am going to write this function like uh, gamma of 1 minus 1 half plus s over 2 uh, I rewrite this is like uh, to use uh, Euler's reflection formula so we know uh, this formula mm, gamma of c times gamma of 1 minus c is equal to sorry pi over sine of pi z so we can write now this is equal to uh, 1 over 2 gamma of 1 minus s and according to this formula we can write this is equal to pi over sine of uh, now sine of uh, this angle so sine of pi over 2 plus uh, pi s over 2 okay then uh, next step uh, we know uh, sine of pi over 2 plus pi s over 2 cosine of pi s over 2 also we can write uh, gamma of 1 minus c so if we isolate here gamma of 1 minus c we know this is equal to pi over gamma of c sine of pi c so we can write now here this is equal to um, here 2 now gamma of 1 minus c we know pi and here uh, gamma of s and sine of pi s here pi and here we know this is equal to cosine of pi s over 2 okay then this pi get cancelled and now we can write here gamma of s and using uh, double angle formula sine of 2 theta we know this is equal to 2 times sine of pi s over 2 cosine of pi s over 2 over cosine of pi s over 2 now cosine of pi s over 2 get cancelled and we will have gamma of s times sine of pi s over 2 okay this is the Madin transform of sine of x so we know this is equal to now gamma of s sine of pi s over 2 and here we know uh, s absolute value of s uh, lower than to 1 okay then uh, we have hence evaluate uh, another integral so um, we know now million transform of sine of x so our integral uh, 0 to infinity sine of ax over x to the m dx uh, is equal to uh, you can see the answer in a thumbnail okay now to evaluate this integral now i am going to take here we found 
Melian transform of sine of x and we know this is equal to uh, in the beginning we take uh, this is equal to 0 to infinity uh, x to the s minus 1 sine of x dx so now if we take 0 to infinity uh, x to the minus is sine of x dx we can write now uh, this is equal to uh, we can rewrite uh, x to the minus s like 1 minus s uh, minus 1 so we can write now this is equal to gamma of instead of s now 1 minus s here uh, sine of phi over 2 minus phi s over 2 so gamma of 1 minus s here cosine of sine of phi over 2 minus so cosine of phi s over 2 okay then our integral 0 to infinity sine of x or x to the m dx okay now uh, to evaluate this integral i am going to take uh, a substitution so if we take u is equal to ax then du is equal to a dx so now we can write here uh, limit also 0 to infinity now sine of ax is equal to u over x to the m now x is equal we know u over a so u to the m over a to the m and dx is equal to 1 over a here uh, 1 over a d u okay now we know here a to the m here 1 over a so we can write a to the m minus 1 integral from 0 to infinity uh, this u to the m we can write u to the minus m sine of u uh, here du okay now here a to the m minus 1 and then u to the minus m sine of u so we found here uh, x to the minus s sine of x so here u to the minus m sine of x so we can write this is equal to now gamma of 1 minus m here cosine of phi m over 2 okay now uh, we can simplify this so we know um, Euler's reflection formula so here a to the m minus 1 now gamma of 1 minus m we can write uh, pi over pi over gamma of m sine of pi m and here cosine of pi m over 2 okay then here we can write now pi times a to the m minus 1 over gamma of m now sine of pi m we can write 2 times sine of pi m over 2 cosine of pi m pi m over 2 and here we have cosine of pi m over 2 and this cosine of pi m over 2 get cancelled and we will have pi a times m minus 1 over 2 times gamma of m times sine of pi m over 2 and we know m is not equal to 0 comma 1 uh, plus or minus 2 comma plus or minus 4 and so on okay this is the answer if you uh, like this video please subscribe this channel thank you for watching